Dear friends of Ukraine, together we close the lines against the Putin regime and open our arms for refugees, peace and freedom. With my colleague Paulina and our friends from Ukraine, Vlada Rosina, Teresa Yakovina, Valera Jeri, we traveled to Luhansk uh, region last year. Except at the time when Putin placed troops around the whole eastern Ukraine. There we met folk singers from Bilolutz, Osinove, Novopskov, and Horodice. We were researching about how war influences the songs of the region and the voices of the singers, how traumatic events are passed on from generation to generation via the voice. This area of North Luhansk owns a very rich musical heritage of Ukraine folklore. Every village has its own unique songs. Some of these songs are more than 300 years old. They were given from grandmother to mother to daughter. We tried to archive as many songs as possible because this heritage is threatened. Not only because the new generation of singers is missing, also because Putin is denying the Ukrainian culture as such. From here in Berlin, we want to sing a song to unite and to send energies to our love, to our friends, to our partners and families which are staying in Ukraine. This song is from Bilulutz and Osinove. In different version, you will find it in the whole Ukraine. It's Selena Yavishna, Green Cherry. Paulina? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, please put your mask on, <laughs> technical information. So, uh, Zelena Yavishna, a green cherry tree. This is a song we discovered about a year ago in the Lugansk region. This is a traditional Ukrainian song uh, with a lyric saying about the daughter separated from home in the foreign lands. She's missing home very much, she's longing her mother, but she cannot come back simply. And this song we would like to sing together with you to send a lot of strength to our friends in Ukraine. Free Ukraine! Zelenaya Vishnya Spit Korenya Vishla Yeah. Mm -hmm. 